On the night of the 22nd to the 23rd of August in 1791, in the French colony, which is now known as Haiti, an uprising began. It would play a crucial role in the abolition of the transatlantic slave trade. This event marked the beginning of the Haitian Revolution, which was the first and only successful slave revolt in history. It led to the establishment of Haiti as the first independent black republic in 1804. The rebellion was meticulously planned by enslaved Africans and free people of color who were inspired by the principles of liberty and equality. The planning involved secret meetings where strategies were discussed and a pact was made to start the uprising on the night of August 22nd, 1791. The rebellion began in the northern region of Saint Domingue, which is now Haiti, and thousands of enslaved people rose up against the French colonial authorities, attacking plantations, killing slave owners, and destroying properties. The violence spread rapidly as more enslaved people joined the revolt, fueled by their desire for freedom and an end to brutal conditions of slavery. The French colonial authorities were initially caught off guard and struggled to regain control as the rebellion grew in size and strength. The uprising sent shockwaves across the Atlantic, influencing other colonies and slave societies. It demonstrated the possibility of successful resistance against slavery and colonial rule. The Haitian Revolution ultimately led to the abolition of slavery in the colony and the establishment of Haiti as a free and independent nation. This victory also had a significant impact on the abolitionist movement in Europe and the Americas, contributing to the eventual end of the transatlantic slave trade. The Haitian Revolution became a symbol of resistance and the struggle for freedom, not just in Haiti, but across the world. It challenged ideologies of white supremacy and colonialism, proving that enslaved people could overthrow their oppressors and claim their rightful place as free and equal members of society. International Day for the Remembrance of the Slave Trade and its Abolition was started by the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, on August 23rd of 1998. This International Day aims to ensure that the tragedy of the slave trade is remembered by all people. Millions of African men, women, and children were ripped from their families and homelands and trafficked across the Atlantic. Their bodies were commodified and their humanity was denied. The history of slavery is a history of suffering and barbarity that shows humanity at its worst. But it is also a history of awe-inspiring courage that shows human beings at their best, including enslaved people who rose up against impossible odds and the abolitionists who spoke out against the horrific crime. The centuries of colonial exploitation have led to the social and economic inequalities of today. By teaching the history of slavery, we help others understand historical injustice and its legacy, honor the memory of the enslaved, foster empathy and critical thinking, promote social justice and anti-racism, understand global interconnections, prevent historical amnesia, and promote reconciliation and healing. Today, you can help by educating yourself and others. Read books, watch documentaries, and donate to or volunteer with organizations that focus on educating the public about the history of slavery and its legacies. You can visit museums and memorials in person or virtually. You can advocate for social justice and support organizations working to combat modern forms of slavery, human trafficking, and systemic racism. You can support efforts to preserve history, take time to do some self-reflection, and think of ways to contribute to a more just society. You can encourage open and respectful conversations with others about the impact of slavery and the importance of remembering this history. Feel free to share or repost this video if you'd like. Today and every day, let us stand united against racism and build a world in which everyone, everywhere, can live with liberty, dignity, and human rights.